the title of this Republic notice is called World War III is a Disneyland version of the cosmic war to come. The title of this Republic notice is called World War III is a Disneyland version of the cosmic war upon us. Okay, I keep hearing this rhetoric about is World War III going to happen and is this World War III and this. And the Bible tells you there will be wars and rumors of wars, okay? See, because <clears throat> when you say a rumor of a war, that means you're having whisperings and you're spreading something that's possibly false around. Now, there will be wars and there will be rumors of wars, but the war is going to be a cosmic war. The rumored war is going to be a World War III Disneyland version. That's a rumor. The war is going to be caught on a cosmic, galactic, seismic scale that will spill over into Earth. That the Earth will begin to fill in all four corners. So the rumors of War War III is nothing but a Disneyland version. And uh, don't be misled. The rumor means that it's not going to be a war. What you're going to see is a slaughter, a cosmic slaughter. See, there will be wars and rumors of wars. Now, it may be a war in some, in some areas, but then when you're dealing with that rumor, the rumor is the misleading part. It's telling you about a World War III. And there's not going to be so, no such thing as in truth a World War III. It's going to be a cosmic slaughter. Okay, and this cosmic slaughter has a lot of elements. First of all, the Antichrist is not nothing that just appeared. It started with Woodrow Wilson, as I said in another one of my videos in 1913. Through him, through him came World War I. That's how you know he was the Antichrist. He started the military industrial complex, World War I. He finally had enough of his Antichrist followers so willing to follow him that they was willing to become bond woman, bond woman, contractors of, of, of foreign and corporate forces just to make sure blacks was oppressed, just to make sure the constitutional citizens didn't have their bill of rights respected, just to make sure the constitutional citizens no longer could hold positions that could be equal to them or even rule them, just to make sure that the constitutional republic was not respected. Woodrow Wilson and all the corporate banksters, Catholics and everything imported a whole bunch of immigrant publics from Ireland, from Italy, from Croatia, from Poland, from, you know, all over, all over. They came for their American dream scheme pyramid on little baby Sam Bowen, Uncle Sam, Isaiah 9-6, the black infant, where the government will be on his shoulders. They came and they stole from him while they fought fiercely against all his human rights. They wanted to extend inalienable rights infringements that had already taken place on blacks three and 400 years. They wanted an extension of that. They didn't have enough, even though the God Almighty said he cut off the sacrifice and oblation when he freed them in America constitutionally and gave them a citizenship. You know, they had paid their debt. They had made sure that they couldn't be owned by Satan. They took the whip because Satan could not own their souls, okay? But the sacrifice and oblation was cut off and then the Antichrist pretended it wasn't and wanted to continue the infringement after the Holy Covenant agreement. They wanted to set up abomination and desolations and desolating. So Woodrow Wilson put on his clan robe and said, we're going to have the birth of a new nation a new birth nation, and it's going to be the image of the clan, the idol worship of this white robe and white supremacy and, and white right and white authority, no matter whether it comes from corporate foreign, all kind of evil, whatever it is, it, 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 we're going to set it up as the birth of a new nation. Okay, and that's when World War I started, and then we had the World War II and all succeeding wars and the military complex got its footing. However, the military industrial complex got some swift weapons now. They got some real, real swift weapons. I mean, the weapons are, you know, long distance. They can microwave, radiate, uh, do anything 
I mean, literally fry your brains, fry your heart, stop your heart. They, uh, you know, got, they got scalar weapons. They got all kinds of weapons. They have all kinds of weapons. So it is not going to be a World War III. It's going to be a cosmic slaughter. And the uh, Antichrist, who want to hold on to these gun rights, you know, President Obama telling you really it's no good to hold on to these gun rights because, you know, all your little gun rights do is kill each other and slaughter each other and, and, and uh, slaughter the innocent because when it comes to this cosmic war, they're going to take that little toy, toy gun and twist it up in your ass drum and you'll realize your boy dealing with a little toy. You might as well be shooting water out of it because these weapons underway is so far advanced. You know, some people say it was an agreement made with um, some extraterrestrials for technology or whatever. And that may be true. See, and that's why I tell you, this is not no Disneyland World War III. This is a cosmic war. This is Star Wars, and it has been Star Wars for a while. You know, uh, just because the Judasians in the Constitution was put to sleep by God Almighty don't mean that they won't or their ancestors won't be resurrected. Stars and galaxies will be resurrected for this war. And this war has already started. And I'm going to tell you, as the front line, I see up front. I see up front. You could believe it or not, I see up front. These big old giant Nephilim masters who've been controlling the earth, I see them falling like weak ass flies. King Yahshua, Pegasus, the, uh, the, the invisible, resurrected invisibles, like the Maccabees, and uh, even some Judah war soldiers are being resurrected, and, and they are stars fighting this war. And honey, they coming in invisibles, and then you got King Yahshua, who got the power, <laughs> who got the power of the sun. I mean, okay, it's, it's, it's going down. It's going down, okay? It's going down. And even though they tried to, uh, they, they coerced us into abortions and cut off a lot of our star systems, see, they forget King Yahshua has the power to resurrect. And he, has, he also has the power to send send his enemies to a second death, okay? That's why I said uh, a lot of these blacks blowing up the Illuminati, they almost into the point of silly because the Illuminati may have the might to uh, take out your physical. But see, King Yahshua can resurrect and King Yahshua can send them to a second death, something that the original light of the earth can do, send his enemies to a second death. They can't send King Yahshua to a second death because King Yahshua overcame death. He went to the depths of hell and he stared it straight in the eye and he rose above it, Jack, so that his people could rise above it. That's why we here in America, that's in the Constitution as black Americans, we are resurrected from Egypt. And I could prove everything I'm saying. I could prove everything I'm saying where you cannot dispute it. You cannot dispute it. The proof I got, you cannot go around. And it's nothing you could do because it squares it off in four corners, okay? So this cosmic slaughter is going to come on the enemies of King Yahshua and his people because they want to have this replacement theology, the so-called churches, apostate churches, uh, going by 1948, some man-made bow for agreement. 1948, <laughs> that's a joke. Blacks became a nation, Judasian, the real Judah, in 1866 in North America with national enforcement, contractual enforcement rights written in the cosmic, okay? So if, if these Khazars had anything, they was only a decoy. And yes, God Almighty allows decoys. He allows decoys, okay? He even allowed Satan some leeway in order to serve the kingdom of God, okay? And right now, the Most High is tired of your sugar honey iced tea. He tired of your sugar honey iced tea because blacks been toiling with the world and these American clans for 500 years, 500 years, okay? That's, that's, that's the Most High and His Son pleading with you, okay? Trying to make you see beyond your own pointy ass noses, pink and stringy haired skin, okay? You want to call yourself a legitimate American, but you want to call President Barack Obama illegitimate. 
Like you so much more legitimate than him because your skin is pink as a foreigner or because some pink man signed a law saying you was legal. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Guess what? That son telling you a lot of you are illegal on earth, okay? You better not just look at this America. The son is telling a lot of y'all, y'all illegal on earth, okay? And it's not telling all white people that. Because the sun is not going to target all white people. He's going to target, the sun is going to target the hearts of larceny. Because the sun knows the difference. The sun knows the difference. All white people will not come down with melanoma, which is called rhizores for the racist. They get a rhizores, a rhizore, a rhizores. See, this war is cosmic, okay? And you better look at Matthew 24. Because when they was telling Christ, he was not the Christ, that he was from another source, trying to say he was from an evil source instead of being the Christ. He sat right there on the Mount of Olives and he told them everything that was going to go down. And we're at that stage now. His hands is off. He's going to let Satan have it. They say, okay, he has, they have inflicted my people enough. You go here and collect your soul, Satan. They seem to want you. They seem to want to be your lover. You know, they, their hearts done wax cold. We can't, we can't even penetrate them. They cannot see beyond their own nose and face even when the truth is brought to them. They love it and like it for lie. Truth hurts them. Truth hurts them because they want that, they want that mass delusion of them being supreme and the constitution just being for their white ass when it really has nothing to do with them. It don't even know them in truth. So, so God Almighty said, okay, my son and my people had enough. Take your hands off of them. Let, let, go ahead. Let Satan collect his souls because it's time for the real power and the real light now to start showing who's power. You know, that the earth is not the possession of, of Satan. The earth is not the possession of these uh, uh, draconic energies, these Nephilim giants left over from the fallen gods who made it with the daughter of man and made all these creatures. And they back at it again. Some of them falling down on their earth, making black eyed children and all kind of children. And I heard one person said, oh, yeah, well, my wife is having babies by this. Look, all that stuff that the white people and the Greeks call myths. That was the phenomenon they didn't want to grasp and they didn't want you to grasp because it requires parallel realities and higher dimensions. So they call it myths. But a lot of the so-called myths, the Greek myths, are the reality of the light people of God Almighty, both the good and the bad. OK, the good and the bad. You know, we have the good and the bad because that's what you call balance. Some people just want to say, oh, we just have the good. Well, that's immaturity. You have to have good and bad because that's the balance, okay? And if you didn't have that, you wouldn't have free will. If everybody was good, then in, in, if, they, if all of God's people was good, then God's people wouldn't be God's because they wouldn't have the free will to choose, okay? So, you know, we got to get a little bit more mature about this and understand that King Yahshua was willing to go to hell for a heavenly cause, and a lot of us got to be willing to go to hell for a heavenly cause. And most of us have. We have it written in that constitution. Because that constitution says we went through hell. That constitution is written in blood ink. That's the holy covenant. You got black men calling that a white man document because he wants to give the white man credit because he's a fallen god. And he's missing dimensions. And that's why I'm saying these black men denying Christ, denying this, denying that. They need to start at one point. And this is the one point black people need to start at. Accept that you're missing quite a few of your dimensions. When you accept that, then you'll understand how far and how deep you have fallen. And how your knowledge has been corrupted. You know, so it's like you have a corrupted knowledge on the computer, you have a corrupted knowledge on the computer. That's why I say all knowledge is from God Almighty. When I'm speaking to you, I'm giving God Almighty the credit because me in an awakening state is fallible. And I want the knowledge to come from God Almighty. So I'm going to praise God Almighty because God Almighty is the giver of all knowledge. Okay, I'm just a vessel that is coming through. Okay, so this is a, a cosmic slaughter. This is not going to be a World War III. This is going to be a cosmic slaughter. You know, and, and Nerubu is moving in. You know, uh, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the stars of the original light is a little bit of tired of this book BS now. They are starting to come in unity. They are starting to resurrect the 18th dynasty of Egypt. Akhenaten is resurrecting. 
He was the one who said there's one God, monotheism, and he is resurrected to enforce that truth. He is resurrected to enforce that truth. Okay? And, and he's not coming playing tiddlywinks with nobody. Believe me. He's not coming playing tiddlywinks with nobody. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David Shalom.